guys, I am the Comics Kid 2099, and I am here to talk to you about the pilot episode for a television series called Once Upon a Time. This series started in 2011 and has already finished its third season and is even going to have a spin off series called Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. And this may not come as a surprise to you guys, but usually I wait until a series is completely finished before I start watching it, just because I don't like waiting for intense amounts of time for the rest of the story to complete. But last night I made an exception when I watched the pilot episode for this series. So now, quickly, let me give you the basic plot for this pilot, and then I will kind of give you my thoughts on it. We start off in the real world in what I think is New York with this bounty hunter named Emma Swan. She catches some bad guy and then she goes back to her home and this little boy comes into her apartment and he says, hey, you are my biological mother. We find out that she gave birth to this kid 10 years ago and gave him up for adoption. He tells her that she is a fairy tale character and then she takes him back to his hometown which is called Storybrook, Maine and we find out that everyone in this town is a fairy tale character but none of them actually are aware that they are fairy tale characters. We then find out that she is actually the grown up daughter of Snow White and Prince Charming and during this entire episode we're getting these flashes back to fairy tale world where we kinda see what has resulted in the fairy tale characters coming to the real world and no longer remembering their lives as fairy tale characters. So anyway, Emma takes this boy to the woman who raised him. She just happens to be the mayor of Storybrook, Maine. Now, at first, we're led to believe that this woman may be a little bit harsh and a little bit strict, but that she still loves her boy. Well, by the end of the episode, we find out that she's kind of sort of a jerk to everyone and is maybe kind of evil and might even remember who she was in fairy tale land. Meanwhile, Emma, she kind of just wants to get rid of this kid and get back to her life in New York, but by the end of the episode, she is convinced to stay in Storybrook, Maine for one week just to kind of see if this little boy is right and that everything here is a fairy tale world. Now, first and foremost, my biggest problem with this is that we are getting way too much of this before the main character even gets it. We're finding out a lot of information about Fairy Tale World before the little boy who claims to be her son is telling it to her. If it was up to me, I would have done this more along the lines of Harry Potter. You start off with Emma Swan. She's a normal woman, albeit a bounty hunter, and that's not an especially normal profession. And then she does her little bounty job at the beginning of the episode. And then she meets this little boy who claims to be her son. And then you can have this whole spiel where he's explaining to her that Storybrooke, Maine is the home for all of these fairy tale creatures. And then we can slowly get introduced into the world of fairyland or whatever. But I really don't think that half of this episode needed to be flashbacks showing us Snow White, Prince Charming, Rumpelstiltskin, the Evil Queen, etc. I think we could have gotten a lot of that in dialogue from the boy to Emma and it would have worked just as well. Another reason all of these flashes to Fableland don't really work for me is because they kind of imply that the Evil Queen from Snow White is the big bad. And I'm curious if she's the big bad for just this season or for the entire series. If she is the big bad for the entire series, I have to think that that's going to get old for people who watch this show. Like, after a year or two, you're probably going to want a different villain. The good thing about having a show that's about fairy tales in the real world, well, there's no shortage of evil villains. If you want to use the Evil Queen from Snow White, okay, go ahead, but you could also use the Evil Queen from Sleeping Beauty, or Rapunzel, or Cinderella, etc. And now, showing us so much of Fableland in the pilot episode in the form of flashbacks kind of prevents them from adding any other characters into the series later on if they want to. So now they kind of have to stick with the idea that the Evil Queen from Snow White and probably Rumpelstiltskin are going to be their two main antagonists for, well, the rest of the series. It would be very hard, in my opinion, to add additional antagonists in later seasons since we've already seen the two major antagonists in Fableland. Outside of this kind of structural problem with the pilot, I just didn't really enjoy anything about this episode. I felt like a lot of the acting was way hammier than it needed to be, and it could have been toned down about a million degrees and it probably would have been okay. 
I generally didn't really like the little boy who is kind of ushering in all of the story for our main character. And I understand that he's kind of a necessary evil, but I just didn't really find him that likable. That's partly because I don't really find child actors to be all that appealing. I don't think that they're very good at acting. And usually they're just there for their cuteness. And I definitely didn't find this kid to be very cute or appealing in any real way at all. And also it just didn't really do its job as a pilot. Usually a pilot episode is going to be a little longer than a normal episode because you need so much time to set up your main character, what the status quo was before the story begins, what the new status quo is for the rest of this series, and who the villains are, who the supporting cast is, etc. By the end of this episode, any supporting cast that we see, I just don't get a feeling that we've gotten to know them very well, partly because we've been spending so much time in the past flashbacks set in Fableland. We see Geppetto, we see Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother, but I don't really get a sense of who these people are, and I don't know how they are going to factor into this series in relation to Emma Swan. Likewise, I don't know what Emma Swan is going to be doing in this series. All we know is that she's going to be staying in Storybrooke, Maine for a week, and I don't really know what she's going to do. Is there really that much call for a bounty hunter in Storybrooke, Maine? Sometimes I feel like pilot episodes are an hour and a half just because they feel like they need to be big and epic. But sometimes, like in this case, I think that the story really could have been a little longer, or maybe they could have just done a lot less of the flashbacks and maybe I could have gotten a better grasp of this world in the present day. I also found this episode to be kind of derivative. If you read comic books, and if you're watching this video, then the chances are you do, then you've probably heard of the Vertigo comic book series Fables. And this series is very, very similar to Fables. The key difference is, in Fables, all of the fairy tale creatures know who they are and they remember their former lives. Whereas here, the only character who seems to remember anything is the Evil Queen and again, maybe Rumpelstiltskin. So there are a few minor differences, but more or less it's pretty easy to tell that the people who created this series were wanting to create a Fable series and then when they weren't able to do that, they just changed a few of the names around, tweaked the premise just slightly, and then they went forward with it anyway. And the problem is, well, aside from the structure being kind of shoddy and the premise not being made very clear in the pilot episode, I just didn't really find this to be something that I would want to keep watching. So I probably won't keep watching this show because I've got only so much time in a day and I've got plenty of other TV shows that I could watch, so I don't want to waste my time watching something that I just didn't enjoy that much in the first place. Especially when I could just go to the source material, read it, and I would probably enjoy it a whole lot more than what I did with this. At least judging from what I have read in Fables, the first two trade paperbacks, I really did enjoy that series, and I definitely think that that would be more fun and more rewarding than continuing to watch Once Upon a Time. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad series just because it copies Fables. Tomorrow, I will be putting up a video where I talk extensively about originality and how that factors into the quality of a story. But needless to say, I think that the pilot episode for Once Upon a Time fails for many reasons and none of them really include being a ripoff of Fables. However, I do think since we're talking about it being so very similar to Fables, maybe they could have made this a little bit more different and I think once again if the pilot had been longer and they could have established what the premise for the series would have been, then I could more easily see, okay, so this isn't exactly trying to be Fables. It's a little bit more different than I thought. Unfortunately, I really can't make that judgment call because I still don't know what this series is going to be about. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this pilot episode for the series Once Upon a Time. I'm sure several of you watched this show. If you do, maybe you could tell me in the comments below if this series is worth watching after the pilot. I know there are some shows that start off not really that great and it takes them a while to find their footing. The problem is, I just don't find myself all that eager to watch this show based on the pilot because the pilot is supposed to be there to hook you and bring you in. And if it fails to do that, even if it is really good later on, well, the pilot still hasn't done its job, and so I don't feel especially eager to keep watching. 
I hope that this video was helpful to you, even if you disagree with my opinion. And if it was helpful, I hope you will like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys will check out my videos throughout the rest of this week. And I hope that it will be just as fun for you to watch them as it is for me to make them and bring them to you. Until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.